So unless you're auditioning for the Hulk movie or the Shrek movie, here's how to remove the hideous green from the face in Photoshop. So just click on the adjustment layer icon and simply create a hue saturation adjustment layer on top. And then we need to target these greens and how do we do that? With the help of the hand right here, simply click on any one of these green areas, it is automatically targeted. Now it shows under yellows because it is closer to that, that is all right. Now we need to take the hue and saturation all the way to the right just to see which areas are being targeted and then we need to play with this range. This is the range of colors that we are targeting. I usually make it very very narrow and then hold it from the middle and move it around and stop at just the point where all of the green is being targeted and then expand the range from here. So we're going to keep it right here and start expanding the range. So on the left hand side we need to be careful because the more we go on the left hand side the more it is going towards the reds zone. So the top bar right here is showing which colors are we targeting and the bottom bar is showing what is happening with that color with all of these sliders. So let us move it a little more. Not too much, this is fine. The two sliders on either side determine how smooth the transition is between the area that is targeted and the area that is not targeted. So let's make the transition smoother like so. And we can actually expand it even more on the right hand side because it's all green. So let's target all of that and then bring the hue and saturation back to zero by double clicking on the text right here. And then play with the values. That is all we have to do. So let's take the hue to the left. I believe minus 18 does the job right here. Then you can also play with lightness actually. So let's take it up. All right but it affects the saturation. So let's also increase the saturation quite a bit. And there you go, issue fixed. Let's have a look at the before and after. So here is the before and here is the after. Fantastic, isn't it? But it's also affecting other areas. Again, here's the before and here is the after. If you only wanted it to affect the skin and maybe the clothes, we can easily mask those areas out. Simply select the mask right here, press Control or Command I, Take the brush and take a soft round brush right here and with white as the foreground color you can always press X to toggle between the foreground and the background. Just paint this area in white inside of the mask and there you go. Now have a look, here's the before and here is the after. It is not affecting the background. Now on top of that you can do your retouching, you can do your color grading. I'm just going to create a simple curves adjustment layer by clicking on the adjustment layer icon, choosing curves and then just make it overall brighter and contrasty by taking this slider on the right to the left ever so slightly, just like so. And there you go. Here's the overall before and here is the after. And after doing a bit of retouching, here's the overall before and after. I hope this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.